This week, AMD and Samsung partner up, Nvidia faces a sales ban, and AMD's dual GPU offering gets delayed. I'm David Wolf with Tech Power of News. I've always thought Samsung and AMD would be great bedfellows. Maybe not the best term. Apparently, Samsung has become foundry partner to AMD to produce its Arctic Islands line of GPUs on a 14 nanometer FinFET node. Apparently, NVIDIA, in AMD's competition, will be building its upcoming Pascal GPU on 60 nanometer FinFET node, probably with TSMC. Along with the Arctic Islands GPUs, Samsung will also be manufacturing Zen, potentially sharing the workload with global foundries to make sure the product launch cycle doesn't get thrown off. Chips made by Samsung are expected to start selling in quarter 3 2016, with hopes of a 10 nanometer process ready for 2017. In a kind of ironic twist of events, NVIDIA may have found itself facing a sales ban on some of its system-on-a-chip products. Not long after losing a patent infringement lawsuit to Samsung back in October, a case that NVIDIA brought against Samsung, might I add, a United States International Trade Commission judge held that NVIDIA has been violating at least three patents. This does not mean three. This means three. Three patents held by Samsung. The judge's decision is due for review in a few months. NVIDIA, though, could have its infringing products pulled from shelves if the decision is upheld. One of the patents does, however, expire in 2016, lucky NVIDIA, and the sales ban will likely only last a few months. Hopefully this doesn't mean an increase in price on mobile devices should NVIDIA be temporarily out of picture, because everybody likes their cheap-ass tablets. Remember a few weeks back when I talked about AMD's VG Dual GPU graphics card, how it might be released in time for the holidays? It's not gonna be. I mean, it's freaking the 26th right now as I record this video. Unless, and you aren't watching this like two years from now, are you? Well, never mind. AMD's upcoming dual GPU offering has been rather unsurprisingly delayed. The company claims that the delay is to keep in pace with the market, as they believe commercial availability of HMDs, or head-mounted displays, fancy way of saying virtual reality headsets, will be much more widespread come quarter two, 2016. So the idea is that the cards may sell better when there's a huge boost of popularity to virtual reality gaming demanding high power GPUs. And it's definitely not just a cover up for something having gone wrong with development. No sir, I mean, what has that ever happened? AMD did say that internal testing came back positive. It's also possible that due to the recent Cooler Master Ace Tech case, the company is redesigning their cooler to avoid more legal trouble. That's all the news I have for this year. Really. Next time you see me, it'll be 2016. Unless you stalk me on the forums. The forums that you should check out, because if you have any questions, there's lots of people for you to freaking talk to. Another thing to check out is our website, techpowerup.com, which has articles and all this stuff I covered and plenty more, like Asus announces the E3 Pro Gaming V5 motherboard based on Intel C232 chipset. MSI and launches two C236 based workstation motherboards, and Creative announces the Woof 3 Bluetooth speaker. I just mentioned that one because I wanted to say Woof. If you watched this video and you were disappointed because I didn't say crap about video games, <laughs> have I got the channel for you? Check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Plus, he's from the UK. That's reason enough right there, so friggin' clicky clicky. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate. Now, Happy New Year's. Well, thank God Christmas is over because this hat is painful.